It was good. Um, we did a lot of shooting, played some one-on-one, -on -one, and then mostly three-on-three, -three, half court and full court. Just some different drills there. Competed a little bit with, with shooting drills and uh, got a little conditioning in at the end. And yeah, it was a good workout. I thought we had a good group. And uh, yeah, it was fine today. That conditioning that you described at the end, we've heard bits and pieces of what that's like. What kind of drills did they put you in at the end? You just go for two minutes, uh, as many, as many baseline to baseline, as many touches as you can. They said today the record was 19, I think. You grew a lot of inches uh, over the last two years. Uh, how did that affect your game? How did that change your game? Um, I feel like it gave me an advantage over the guards, you know, being taller. Um, you know, that's kind of what NBA teams look for, the, the, the taller guys, the bigger guys. So um, I feel like that gave me an advantage. Um, and still being able to do the things that the, you know, smaller guys are doing, being able to shoot um, fast off the dribble, being able to get to the rim and quick. So um, it just gave me a little bit of advantage over the other guards. Thank you. Neil. Hey, Trey, how, how did the workout go and what was some of the feedback that the coaches or front office members were giving you? Yeah, you know, the workout went great. Um, you know, we came in, we competed. Um, the coaches told me a little bit of what I needed to do better during the workout, and um, that helped me towards the end. You know, I picked it up a lot. Um, I got going, got my teammates going. You know, um, their, their biggest thing for me was to, you know, continue to get ready, you know, keep working on my body, getting stronger, and just staying in the gym, kind of doing everything that what, what got me here, but um, getting stronger for sure, which is something that I know that I got to do. And you know, I don't know if you have any relationship with Bradley Beal as a you know fellow Florida Gator guy, but if you do, could you just expand on you know what that relationship might be? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, Bradley played at Florida. You know, I was I grew up in Gainesville, Florida, so I was familiar with the basketball team growing up. Um, I knew about Bradley Beal. I was never able to go to a game, but you know, I watched him when I could. And then um, growing up, I watched him try to take a little bit of his game, add it to my game. And then um, around high school, you know, I, I followed him on Instagram. He followed me back. We kind of talked a little bit. Um, he gave me some advice for college. Um, and then, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much been that same thing, you know, just hitting each other up on Instagram every now and then and just talking. Um, but, yeah, I'm a fan of Bradley Bill. I like his game. And I try to, you know, take some of his game and put it into mind. Thanks, Trey. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Lucas? Um, you made a huge jump last season, um, had a way bigger role than before, um, also played as a primary ball handler. What kind of role do you actually uh, consider yourself in the NBA, rather as a, uh, a secondary option, for example, or as a primary ball handler as well? Um, uh, I feel like my game, I could do a lot of both. You know, I, I feel like I'm pretty good off the ball and on the ball as well. But I'm um, in the NBA, I'm hoping to play the point guard position, you know, being the primary ball handler, um, getting my teammates in the plays, um, setting up the plays, running the offense, and um, just playing my game as a point guard. You know, I feel like I can create for myself and my teammates as a point guard and off the ball. So um, I just feel like I'm pretty versatile, but my uh, preferred position would be the, the point guard at the next level. First of all, how's it going? How was the workout today? Uh, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Um, workout went well today. Uh, learned a lot of things. Uh, just, just embracing um, this opportunity is just, is just uh, good for me. So it went, it went pretty well today. And you uh, grew up in Northern Virginia, right? Went to Westfield. Yes, yes, I grew up in Northern Virginia, not too far. Um, what's it, uh, what's it like working out for the Wizards? Um, was it a, did you watch them growing up? Did you go to any games? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, you know, getting an opportunity to work out for the Wizards. Um, I've been going to games ever since I was like four or five years old. Um, so yeah, just, just, you know, being in the gym, uh, being around the staff, uh, all the personnel, um, it's a really cool experience. So I'm just uh, embracing it all. And, and what are you trying to show teams uh, throughout this process, the pre-draft workouts? Um, just trying to show teams that um, I'm a, I'm a two way player. I can uh, play, uh, offense and defense, show coaches that um, I can play in a specific role that they need me in, you know, whether it's um, getting guys involved, getting guys shots, getting uh, getting shots for myself, and um, just playing uh, aggressively and playing with a lot of confidence, you know, just giving effort and competing at a high level. Um, 
at, at, in whatever workout um, I'm at. So just showing coaches that, uh, the ability to do all those things. You've always been a great shot blocker over your whole college career. Um, where does this mentality actually come from? Um, I think uh, I always have it. Uh, you know, I'm a, already a defensive minded guy. Uh, that's what I bring on the court, uh, play defense, uh, protect the rim, uh, you know, but um, I bring much more than just blocking uh, the, the basketball. Um, uh, my roles on the team will be uh, to, uh, to, to guard one through five position on um, basketball court, uh, bring a lot of energy, bring some tons of toughness. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. Chase. Hey, man, we, we spoke to you at the Combine. I know you had interviewed with the Wizards. So how did um, working out with them go? Uh, you know, were you able to show them anything you think that um, you weren't able to in the interview? Yeah, I mean, that was a great workout. Uh, we, we were pretty hard. Um, and uh, yeah, I got to show uh, that I can shoot um, better than uh, what people can expect from me. Uh, so show them I can shoot the ball and, uh, you know, do what I do best or play defense uh, uh, pretty hard. Uh, like bringing a lot of energy and trying to talk in defense. So. You were a, a really good rim protector in college, despite not being, of course, like 6'11", uh, 7 feet tall. Um, how do you uh, hope those skills will translate to the next level in the NBA? Um, I mean, same thing, you know. Um, I'm a really explosive guy, uh, so my athleticism is going to translate to the to the next level. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to be able to work shot the same way I think I've been doing in a college basketball. It's about, and you know, it's all, it's all about timing and just uh, about the will to do it. So um, defensively, that's what I'm going to bring uh, to the next level. Neil. Hey, was there anything specifically unique or different about the Wizards workout compared to maybe other workouts you've done? Yeah, the two minute run at the end. It was different. I mean, yeah, I know Boston did it. They did the three minute runs, but uh, so that was the really thing that stick out in my mind. Thanks. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Brianna. Hey, um, we had a previous French player, Jan Mahini, with the Wizards. I'm just wondering if you were able to speak to him about DC or about the Wizards organization or anything like that before your workout. Do you say did I talk got to talk to Jan, him? Yeah, Jan Mahimi. No, I never I never seen uh Jan. I never talked to him before, so uh, so yeah, it's too bad I miss him. Okay. <laughs> Lucas. Uh you get a lot of praise for your defense, your defense versatility. Uh, what do you think you can bring on the table on the offensive end in the NBA? What's what's maybe the main play type uh, you got to bring in in the NBA? Um, well, you know, offensive hand, I can bring my athleticism, you know, run the floor and bring a lot of energy, uh, catching lobs, but also knock down uh, corner threes or open threes. Um, you know, I'm a guy that don't need the ball in my hand, like to be happy offensively and to do something or to have an impact on the game. So. You know, moving without the ball, get a good screen, get my teammate open, uh, create gaps, and uh, um, get a good pos um, re rebound position. So, uh, 